was Lewerke's first incompletion. He's three of four. Here comes the blitz. Quick throw right side. And the screen works. First down, L.J. Scott. Capped it off with a great bowl game. He's the MVP of the Holiday Bowl for Michigan State. Here's Scott. Hard running for a first down. Longest run of the day for Scott goes to the 27. Slant your defensive front, and because of that, sometimes it creates natural seams. That's the left side of the offensive line for Michigan. Wisconsin at home. Gary with a shoulder injury. Second and nine at the 21. Lewerke will pass for the first time. Drops it off. L.J. Scott first down. Sparkles. Dangerous, dangerous man. Five pounds. Here's Bush, and he's trying to get in there. Watch as he kind of lands awkwardly on his arms. And so while Bush is tended to, we'll step away. Michigan State with the football. And so while Bush stopped on fourth down, they need to stop on fourth down. Those sudden change plays this time underneath to Scott. Try to set up a screen inside the 30. The 20. And pushed out around the 10 yard line. Well, they said they wanted to get L.J. Scott more involved in the passing game this year. They've done that tonight. The power speed rush, so what do you do? You either come with screens right there, you come with draws, or you have to get those tackles. Michigan State guys are all in shirt sleeves. Their, their sideline is in the shadows, but they're fine. They're Michigan State guys, unlike you guys. L.J. Scott again spinning his way, crossing the 30 and getting close to a first down. And I think this is what we've seen from L.J. Scott throughout the course of his career at Michigan State. Flashes of brilliance. Back to L.J. Scott. And finally taken down by four white jerseys. Cody White in motion, but it's L.J. Scott first down. L.J. Scott last year averaged 17 carries a game. He already has 11, and they told us in our meetings they want him up around 20 to 25 a game. Instead, he'll hand it off. And the surge will stop at the 37. Unbelievable what the Spartans have gone through as far as injuries. Ten of their 11 starters from the season opening depth chart have missed time. Including this guy, L.J. Scott, who Brady is back for one last game as a Spartan. Third down here. Third and long. Over the middle, Scott trying to make a move, but tackled short of the first down at the 24-yard line. That's what a lot of players do when they decide to come back to school for the final year. On third and short, it's Scott. It's close. Second effort is going to get him a first down. Ain't easy. No, that's a big man, and, and you'll see number 75 right there. This is LJ Scott between the tackles. Nice run and a good gain by Scott. I like the patience at the running back spot. Waits for it to open up the right side of that offensive line. Nice job caving it down. Jordan Reed and company. You can't push him. It's L.J. Scott again. L.J. Scott keeping the legs moving and able to back his way inside the five-yard line before Woodward finally takes him down. That was all L.J. Scott's determination. And if you're a good running back, you just keep those legs, just pound and keep going. Look at him fight. Offensive lineman, you see Stewart working against Amadi, but Amadi with good coverage. L.J. Scott. And it's going to be close. Looks like reaching that ball out. Might have gotten him the first down. L.J. Scott. Looks like he's got enough for the first down. Higgins making the tackle on the play, you know. A balanced formation for the Spartans. Three up top. Instead, they go to the right side of the swing to Scott. He tries to hurdle, and he does. He went right over the top of Jamarcus Ingram. They overreacted to the unbalance. They just swung the ball out there. One guy to make the play, and he's not enough. L.J. Scott, and he'll take it to the 45. Yeah, Mike, that, that disconcerting signals, that's not one, like Coach said, that you hear that often. L.J. Scott 
Looks like he got it off with that second effort. Since they're they're running the ball tougher right now. They'll try to go to the ground again, and they have the first down. They only needed a yard, and L.J. Scott got it. Next stage. Here is L.J. Scott. Well, has run with a purpose today. Perhaps that purpose you're talking about, trying to put one last game on film as he makes his case for the NFL. So the Spartans have going for him is that long lead up in ball preparation. Some extra time to get ready for the different look. On first down, they swing it out. L.J. Scott pulled down. What a nice open field tackle by Kol Kolana Apelu. Has missed much of this season with an ankle injury. His first game today since October. He's got it here and surges ahead to set up third and short. He'll go to the NFL next season. They won five of seven after that. As an option play finds Scott. Scott able to shift his way for a first down across the 45. This Michigan State offense, two touchdowns over the last three games of the regular season, struggling to gain traction. Working in the entire offense largely because of the injuries, taking a huge step back this year. Uh, short run on first down for Scott. And it's Higby back out there, who is Lewerke's roommate for the last four years. L.J. Scott out to the 44. With Scott on his right hip. And it will be L.J. Scott. And met by a host of Aggies in between the 43 and 44 yard line. Out of the eye formation, a toss to Scott. Five yards on the play to the 36, tackled by David Woodward. On the third. On the pitch. And Scott brought down at the 19. I agree with that. I think Michigan is the favorite for me right now in the Big Ten. Nice run up the middle by L.J. Scott. Spartan started their own 20 yard line. And they'll hand it off to Scott. Scott with room. Field position has been an issue, as you mentioned, Joel. Michigan State, their drives have started at the 20. Soko in motion. Scott again looking for the first down, and he has it. L.J. Scott from Youngstown, Ohio for Michigan State. Here's L.J. Scott with a lane, and L.J. Scott... Gains maybe eight yards on the play. Lavert Hill, first man to him. They give him nine. I think they knew the concept, the way they passed off some of the high-low routes. Lorky again in trouble. Flips it outside for Scott, who will just get out of bounds. Bumped there by Gus Cumberlander. Third down and long with 45 seconds. 